So I prepped my skin as usual with my moisturizer, which is the same as always, the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I prepped my skin. I primed it with the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I prepped my eyes also with my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion and also set that with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade Medium to Tan with the shade called Macchiato. And now let's hop right in. I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette and I'm going to take the shade Dusty Rose which looks like this and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I know for the last couple of videos I've been like prepping my skin off camera because I feel like it takes a long time just for me to do those things and I don't want to be wasting you guys' time so I do you guys a favor and just do it off camera but all the, the links and everything will be in the down bar if you want to check that out next I'm going to go into the shade Aubergine which is this purpley sparkly shade over here I'm going to put that in the crease this is going to be a very simple look but no, it will be very simple to create, but it won't be a very simple look. So lightly dust that in the crease. You could take it a little bit up to diffuse the crease if you want also. I'll do that. So it looks like a nice fade. when I'm going out because everybody's like oh my god your eyeshadow looks so amazing like how did you do it like girl it took five minutes and so next I'm gonna go into the shade pink fuchsia wait punch fuchsia yeah. right there it's like this very iridescent purpley color like I love this shade I'm gonna pack this all over the lid I don't see the need to, but 
but I haven't done them in a while and I don't think I'm going to be doing them until next month. So I'm just going to go back into my artist palette. Oh, by the way, this palette is discontinued. I'll see if I can find the individual eyeshadows and link them down below. But if not, then I know Morphe has some dupes. But yeah, for my eyebrows, I'm going to go into the shade Coal, which is a black color, a matte black. And just fill my brows in. Um, I don't have any specific routine to fill them in because I don't normally fill them in. But this is what I do when, you know, I, I need some shape in my eyebrows. I was attempting to brush through my brows, but you see it's the other side. I didn't even look. But yeah, taking this blue. I'm gonna make sure everything is well blended. I won't use any concealer or anything to clean it up because that just takes a long, long time and sometimes I really do mess up and I'm not trying to mess up right now. I'm gonna start on my base. Since my face is primed already, I'm just going to go straight into foundation. I'm going to be using a combination of foundations. My Makeup Forever Stick Foundation and my Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. And I'm just going to do a couple strokes on my face. And take like two pumps of the Maybelline foundation. If I need more, I'll pump more. But yeah, two pumps. And I'm just gonna go right in. I'm just gonna finish up my foundation. And I forgot to set my brows also, so I'll do that right after. I'll be very annoyed when I'm editing this because I don't usually talk when I'm doing something so I can speed it up and make the video shorter. But yeah, I'll be annoying myself. Because then I'm gonna have to keep cutting and <laughs> adjusting the speed and stuff like that. It's okay. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways. Next, I'm gonna be going in with concealer and I'm gonna be going in with the Tarte Shave Dip Concealer. I've been using this for every video since I started my channel. So this is it new. Just put that under my eyes and then bridge my nose, on my forehead and my chin and blend up. I didn't set my smile, I just noticed, so I'm just going to dust everything off and 
at that. attempt to do things with my right hand. Chisel. Alright, so let's set my smile in before I forget. You're looking weird, but you know, it's whatever. And then I'm gonna set the rest of my face. Okay. Setting the rest of my face. I'm gonna go into macchiato again. Right there. I'm just dusting this over. And I'm gonna go into this shade. What is this? I think it's peaches and cream, this one. It's in the contour kit also. And I'm gonna dust this over the points where I wanna highlight. Because I didn't really feel like cream highlighting today. So, I just had a bit of that. This look is coming together! Alright. So, we're gonna fit one with blush today. Mm. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do it too. I'm gonna go into my Cheek Contour Dual Palette by NYX in the shade 1 and Dime. This is not new to my channel. You guys know I love this because I keep using it. I'm gonna go into an e.l.f. angled face brush and just go into the line shade, I guess. And just put this on the apples of my cheeks. <laughs> Lot of blush, but I'm just I'm just doing a light thing. Light sweep. Now we're gonna put that in the powder brush and just make sure that it's not harsh at all. Okay, now we can dust off this. Now for highlight today, I'm going to go into Laura Geller. This is the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in the shade Gilded Honey. I'm hoping this is focusing. Okay. Let's see. This is Gilded Honey. This is the smaller one. I really, really enjoy this highlighter. It's one of my favorite. I say one of my favorite because I have too many highlighters. But I'm just going to put this at the top of my cheekbones, which is my nose. Keep it bow and I think that's it. That's, yeah. actually in this shade soft spoken this is one of my favorite favorite lipsticks of all time because it's like the perfect nude for dark skin tones it looks like this trust me for dark skin tones oh my god Let that dry. It's not gonna dry down to a matte. It's more like a. Fat. 
velvet matte, if that makes sense. Or like a satin finish. I just realized something. I did not set my brows, so I'm just gonna go on with this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper, and this is in the shade. This is in the clear one. Not to say sheer, but. So last up, we all know I'm gonna go into my Mario Desku Rose Water. And it just spritz this all over my face to convert all the powders into skin and to stop this dry flakiness that's happening on my face right now. And we let that dry. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more looks like this. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.